Best weather from where you live. Well, heads up about the dense fog in places tomorrow morning. Visibility less than a quarter of a mile in some areas, but I want to focus on the areas that got all the rain over the past few days. Those are the areas that will really see dense fog because the soils are moist, the vegetation's lush, the vegetation is moist. So yeah, everybody will see areas of dense fog in the morning, but where you've gotten this heavy rain and the soils are pretty wet, that's where that fog is going to be extremely thick in the morning. Southern Central Fountain County, Montgomery County here, Rossville, all the way up towards Battleground and all the way back to Fowler. Uh, and these areas around Logansport, southeast of Logansport that is, Galveston, Walton, Deacon, over to Peru. Those areas too where the soils are quite wet uh, right now from the recent heavy rainfall. Um, so keep that in mind. Again, typically in those areas of the wetter soils, you get much thicker fog. Uh, 55 with the areas of dense fog around tomorrow morning. 77 by the afternoon and keep in mind that the fog and the low clouds with the fog may take a little while to burn off. I mean, it may be past 9 or 10 o'clock when we're really fully able to get things out of here, really mix things out, mix the low clouds out. Winds out of the east, 74 to 79 from the 74 at Logansport, the 77 at Attica, and about 76 at Frankfurt. Now, Saturday, some fog in the morning, maybe not quite as much as tomorrow morning, but still areas of dense fog. 82 in the afternoon, southeast breeze after the fog burns off, get all that sunshine in the afternoon. Really nice Saturday, really. 84 uh, at Attica, 83, Boswell, Fowler, Otterman about 82, 82 Lafayette. 81 floor and about 79 at Burlington. Now there's your fog and low cloudiness early tomorrow morning. That's eight. Notice how it burns off. Here we are at 2.30, just a few scattered cumulus clouds around. And then more fog kind of filling in tomorrow night into early Saturday morning, just not quite as much. You see in the gray there. And then a beautiful Saturday afternoon and perhaps a little more fog even on Sunday morning. Now on Monday, big warm ridge takes over. This is a big dome of temperatures above to well above normal, dominating right here. So it will stay way above normal. I mean, normal by next week is like 70, 71. We'll be mid to upper 80s. The records are around 90, so we won't be too far late next week. But this cold front moves our way, could bring showers and storms Thursday night and into next Friday morning. Whether we get the really big tropical moisture in here will determine just how much rainfall that we do get. And the dynamics, even this far out, do support some marginal risk of severe. 83, though, for the high on Sunday. We're in the mid 80s Monday and Tuesday, mid to upper 80s later next week. And then it turns much cooler. Shower storms Thursday night, Friday morning. And then look at that. Highs next Saturday only in the 60s, lows near 40. And by next Sunday, high still only in the 60s and parts of the area may have lows into the upper 30s.